Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Fell Custom. So today I'm reviewing, well, it's kind of not really a review. It's kind of like a history lesson of this Badger 100 LG. I actually don't even know if it's a Badger 1 LG anymore because this it's kind of like a Frankenstein at the moment, airbrush. I uh, first started airbrushing back in college, back in 1997. And basically I took my cousin's airbrush uh, compressor and her Badger 100. She was doing fingernail air painting and she gave up on it and at the time I really wanted to get into airbrushing so of course family members talk and I took uh, her compressor and airbrush. So that's what I started airbrushing with. So over time I would buy parts, I would buy you know needles, tips because they were getting clogged, they were breaking, they were just messed up and this is what I have now because about two years ago I went into all my parts and I created an airbrush from all those parts that I still had and I came up with this. But I don't use it for anything specific other than acrylic chrome from Garage Kits at the moment. Uh, I still like this paint. I'm using it a lot. I'm experimenting. But I don't like putting this paint in my good airbrushes the way this paint kind of sticks to uh, other paints and causes issues. So I dedicated this brush to this paint. Now, the downside with this brush, well actually there's a bunch of downsides compared to good stuff. Uh, it doesn't come with the quick disconnect. I had one extra so I used it. Um, this piece, no matter how many times I tried to tighten this, it still comes off and loosens up. And their design on this airbrush, now I don't know if this design is even out there anymore. I, I, I don't pay attention to Badger brushes that much. But instead of having a piece back here, so this way you don't pull all the way and go too heavy. What they did is they put a screw here. So when you screw this, your airbrush is pulled back a little bit. And you just push down. But the downside of this is if this screw is all the way forward. And you pop out the needle and you push it in and you tighten it. When you go with forward with the needle, you're pushing it forward and you stretch out the tip. And that's a bad design. Like I said, I don't know if this design is used anymore. Um, I don't know what's going on, but this is kind of more of my Frankenstein. Because I don't know if the needle I have in here is a fine, medium, or a large needle. And I don't know what tips I have up here anymore because I just mixed and matched parts to get something working. So when this airbrush dies, this dies. It goes up on my wall and it represents first time airbrushing of, you know, remembering how I started airbrushing. I also had a lot of problems with the paint cup in here. Uh, even though it looks smooth and feels smooth, I had a lot of problems with paint sticking in there. And it just became, it's just a nightmare airbrush. So I tell everybody, if you're going to get into airbrushing, don't waste your money on one of these. Because when I first started, I was buying all these tips and needles because the little tiny needle that screws in there underneath this, you, there's no needle screw to screw it in because once that's bent, it's bent. You have to buy a whole new thing or send it to Badger. I don't know. It, it's basically just a nightmare airbrush, but it's one of those things I didn't give up on. And I had parts, and I just wanted to make something to work. So that's pretty much my review on the Badger 100 series because I think I had a 150, I had a 100, and then I have this 100 LG. And I got rid of all those parts a while back, and... This is what I have left. So this is kind of just represents first airbrushing, all the headaches I went through, and just learning how to deal with these brushes. So my suggestion is stay away from it completely. Uh, but like I said, if you're a Badger fan and Badger paint airbrushes work for you and you're all about it, I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm just saying for me, I don't like Badgers anymore. But it's just one of these ones I have left. And I'm going to keep it till whenever because it's just one of those, it's just got that, you know, sentimental value, I guess you can say, with an airbrush of all the stuff I went through. So that's my review on it. It works out great for just this paint, and that's all I use it for. I've used, like, I've tried pushing metallics through it, pearls, a thick paint, nightmare. Just, it was just a nightmare. It just didn't want to push any of those paints through. This thing would only push. Mostly pushes water repaint through and that was it. So that's my review. Hopefully it helped you guys out. And we'll see you next time.